Who loves Wi-Fi? Me. I love Wi-Fi. Do you love Wi-Fi? I love it and can't live without it. But can you use it on a Disney cruise? And like, how much does it cost? <laughs> What is up, Disney Cruisers? Welcome back to the channel. If I haven't met you yet, my name's Ashley. Hello, nice to meet you. Today, we're gonna talk about Wi-Fi on the Disney cruise ships. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you should do so. I also have a giveaway going on, so you can click the I button right there. It's also in the description below. Go ahead, check that out and enter. If you click on it and the giveaway is over, make sure you subscribe so you can be a part of our next giveaway. Now, if you are returning to the Disney Cruisers family, please give this video a like down below so I know that you're here. And now let's talk about Wi-Fi, the internet, our first love, right? Just me? Okay. I mean, I do have kids, so. Disney is Disney and they're awesome. How many times am I gonna say that in my videos? I don't know, but it's true, that's why I say it. So what Disney does is they give you 50 megabytes of Wi-Fi for free on your first day. And this is what you have to do to get it. You need to download their app, the Navigator, before you get on the ship, while you're connected to Wi-Fi somewhere else on Earth. You have to go onto the Navigator app and in the data section, you have to select the 50 megabytes for free on the first day. And you have to do that on the first day. If you wait until after midnight on the first day, they will disappear, you will not get your free megabytes. Underneath the button for the 50 free megabytes, you will see other buttons. These buttons correspond to the packages you can buy for Wi-Fi. They will tell you how much megabytes you'll get and the price of them. It is possible to go on cruises and not use Wi-Fi. We have done that many times. You can still have your phone out, you can still take pictures, one thing to be careful of though is to make sure that all of your background refreshes for your apps are turned off like everything even things you don't even know exist need to be turned off and there are very helpful cast members who can do that for you at the connect at sea desk if you walk down to the connect at sea desk when they're open there will be someone there you can hand them your phone and they will make sure everything is turned off for you there are lists that i've found online where people have listed out exactly what you need to turn off I've done that before and it still didn't work correctly, but Disney knows they're professionals. I'm now going to tell you something that is embarrassing. We burned through two large data plans in seven days. Now, someone in my party was using their phone more than someone else in the party and that person swore that everything was turned off the correct way and may have been and may not have been and the data went just by checking social media. So now my theory is don't buy Wi-Fi because it disappears before you know it. It goes so super fast. So on our last cruise, we did have to send, I think it was two emails that were work related. And so we just decided to pay by megabyte as a quarter per megabyte. So I think the two emails that we sent was a dollar something to send those two emails. So that is an option. You don't have to buy like the $20 package if you know you're just going to send like a email for work. Go ahead and just pay per megabyte. It's cheaper that way. Now let's say that you're on the ship and you really want to connect with people but you're afraid to turn on your phone because you're afraid you're going to be charged for everything. That's okay. You don't even really need to use the Navigator app. I mean it's nice. It has menus on it and it has the schedule and you can press the little heart to like favorite items so then you can just see like what I, what activities you want to do and not have to look through all the schedule again. So there are benefits to the app. It is a very nice app, but you do not have to use it. If you want to contact people in your room, then you can use your Wave phones. The Wave phones are in each stateroom. You get two of them and it's really to contact like the kids club. Like you have to, if you, if you have a kid in the kids club, you have to have one of the Wave phones on you. That is how the kids club contacts you if you need to come pick up your child. Let's say they get sick or hurt or they just come up to them and they say, I want to leave. Every time your child comes up to the cast member and says, I want my mom or dad or someone to come get me, the cast member has to contact you to, at least for you to come there, whether or not you take them or you just talk to your kid and say, no, you need to stay longer is another thing. I also know that if you happen to be like on a four hour excursion off the ship and you let them know that, they will be more apt to work with your child to get them to want to stay if they are complaining that they want to leave. But you do need to have the Wave phones with you at all times if your kids are in there. 
So you also can use the Wayphone so to text other people in your party or call other people in your party. There are plenty of times when we had the Wayphones on us, not even because of our kids, just because we were contacting each other when like somebody wanted to go watch a movie while someone else wanted to go to like the anyone can cook activity. So there are ways to connect with the family members or whoever you want to on the ship without using your cell phone, without using Wi-Fi. You like my cup? There are two ways that you can kind of sneak around Disney's Wi-Fi package. And that is by getting off at the ports and going to places that have free Wi-Fi. There are places like Starbucks that you can find at ports that have free Wi-Fi so you can sit there and connect online there. But then there's also some places that are kind of like mom and pop places at the ports and they'll have signs out that say like, you can use free Wi-Fi if you spend $10 here, <laughs> stuff like that. So. Like, you know how like back in the day it used to be like, you can use our restrooms if you're a paying customer. Well, now I guess you can pee there whenever you want for free. And then the other way is there are some phone carrier companies that have like international packages. Different countries, you can buy an international day pass. And so it was like, I, like, I know Mexico is different than the Bahamas. Like one is like $5 more and one's $10. I think the majority are like $10 a day, but when you have that, it doesn't work when you're out floating in the ocean, but if you're docked at a port and you have to do this ahead of time, you can't do it after the fact. So before you go on your cruise, you have to contact your cell phone service and tell them you want this. And so when you're at port, you pay the 10 bucks or whatever, and you get to use Wi-Fi. Well, okay, no, it's not Wi-Fi. You get to use your data, but it's part of your plan for your normal data plan that you have every month for your bill. So if you're sharing like eight gigabytes with your family, then whatever you're using on the ship is coming out of that eight gigabytes that you have for the month that you normally do. I hope that makes sense. But you have to do that ahead of time. So, and different carriers have different policies, but a lot of them have, have policies like that. So look into it before you go. I know there are some people who are watching this thinking, you're on vacation, don't get Wi-Fi, you're supposed to, not you know be disconnected from the world and cruising is just like that you are disconnected and it's very nice and not all the times can you even use wi-fi like when you're out in the ocean it's spotty and even different places on the ship work better than others but sometimes you know people just got to do what they got to do and they got to get work stuff done or emergencies happen or you know you got to send that picture of you in your bathing suit by satellite falls so i get it some people aren't going to want to connect to the internet at all that's fine it's there if you want to if you don't want to just ignore it I encourage you to check out the rest of my channel if you haven't yet, especially if you're planning, and then also if you just like to watch everything about Disney cruising like me. I will see you later, cruisers. I hope you didn't use all your data watching my video because I'm not going to reimburse you. Bye, cruisers. Bye.